Kenya celebrated the first gold medal of Doha 2019 when Ruth Chepnicic won the historic first midnight marathon early Saturday morning. CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar recaps what was an exciting opening day at the Games in Qatar's capital. A colorful ceremony opened up the 17th edition of the IAAF World Championships at the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha. With extreme heat conditions being the center of discussion throughout the build-up to this event, the stadium has been equipped with an air conditioning system, having large cooling pipes circling the track to keep the temperatures favorable for competing athletes. The world was curious to see how athletes will handle the venue's innovative cooling system. I think uh, the weather is very bad because uh, you warm up in the hot, then you go in competition in the cold. So it is not the same. Changing. It was okay, but the warm up area is too okay. So you need to go maybe for a few minutes in the warm-up area because already the body is, is warm, so you don't need to go too much. But the, the air conditioner was very okay. On Mata's result, it was a good first day for East African nations Kenya and Ethiopia on two of the long-distance track events. In the women's 3,000-meter steeplechase, four Kenyans led by Diamond League winner Beatrice Chapkowech made it to the final, while young prodigy Telahun Bekele was one of three Ethiopians who made it for the men's 5,000-meter final. Uh, all athletes, uh, Ethiopians, all athletes have good performance. So, uh, by winner, uh, Salomon Baraga, uh, uh, just Mukhtar Andres for me, uh, they have good position uh, and uh, a strong uh, athletes, so no problem. The championship's first gold medal was won by Ruth Jemgetich of Kenya, after the brutal 42-kilometer run, so almost a third of the 70 starters failed to reach the finish line. Chimgatich, however, managed to cross the tape with a time of 2 hours, 32 minutes and 43 seconds. I have never, ever run a race like this. Throughout my running career, I've never run in such weather conditions. It was very tough. I was always planning to go for the gold, so I'm very happy I got it, and thank God so much. What a, moment of sportsmanship here. a heartwarming scene also captured the hearts of many spectators on the first day, after Guinea-Bissau's Brian Madabo helped an exhausted Aruban Jonathan Basby across the 5,000-meter finish line. Day one has been nothing short of a sporting spectacle already, being treated to a colorful opening ceremony, witnessing exemplary sportsmanship and a historic night marathon. Now, despite the heat remaining a constant, the action only promises to get better here on. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Doha, Qatar.